Okay, so next we will do our collaboration method. Um, with the collaboration method, it is quite different to your before method. Um, sometimes it could be easily, um, it is a bit of wrong, but if you guys just follow the video, what I'm going to do, it will be quite easy. Um, okay, so let's get started. So for for your rising, for your collimation, I always want to um, show you again our setups. Okay, remember one each setup must have one back side and one four side. Okay, so from V to V would be your first setup, second setup would be from V to V, and your third setup would be from V to V. Just so that you know. Sometimes they can be an intermediate site and sometimes they can be more than one intermediate site. Sometimes they are not any intermediate sites. So just, just, just for knowledge sake. So we, we came to the conclusion that there are three setups, okay? So we all know that. So if maybe if I just write over here, three, three setups. Okay, we established that we have three setups. So now what we have to do is that first of all, there will be no first review site and there will be no first correction. So that we can um, establish that. So what we need to do is to find in this method, we're going to first calculate our collimation height, okay? And to calculate our collimation height, so we'll say collimation height equal our final height, which is this one, first final height, plus our first back side, okay? That is what we first need to do. So, so to find our first collimation height over here, it is our final height, which will be given, plus our first back side. Yes. So if we set the 17.630 and we add the... So it's, let me just do it for myself. It was 17.630 plus 1.495. Yes, we'll get the answer over here of 119.125. Okay, that is how we got the 19.125. We set the 17.630 plus the 1.495 to get our first collimation height. Um, once we have our first collimation height, we can say, remember now we, 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 we're working with the first setup, only with the first setup. Okay, so just remember we're working with setup one. Okay, we'll say the 19.125. Um, minus our first intermediate side of 2.194, we get the answer for your reduced height of 16.931. And now to get our reduced height would be our collimation height minus our intermediate, intermediate side and obviously our last foresight, okay? You will, see, you will see as we go along. So we see the 19.125 minus the 2.1494, we got 16.931, all right? To get our second reduced height, we come again back to our collimation height for the first setup of 19.125, the minus with the 2.446, we get the answer of 1, 16.679. Then we're going back to 
to a column measurement of 19.165 minus our four set of 1.731. We get the answer of 17.394. 17.394. So our first setup is done. Okay, it is done. So now, remember when we calculated our first column measurement height, we said our final height plus our back side gives us a collimation height. Now, in order for us to find our second collimation height for our second sitter, all we have to do, we have to take our reduced height of the last one of 17.394 plus, so 17.394 plus the first, the first back side of the second sitter of 2.052, which gives us 19.446. So that would be for the second setup. Now we have to say the 19.446, we minus it from the 2.307, we get the answer of 17.139. Right? And then we say 19.446, we minus our foresight of 2.487, we get the answer of 16.959, okay? There our second setup is completed, okay? And now we will know that our setups are completed is when we are getting an answer here, which matches, which is in the same line of the foresight. Now we come to our third setup, okay? So we remember how we got this one over here. We see this answer plus your backside, which gave us this, so we're doing exactly the same. We're saying 16.959 plus our backside, they give us 19.745. We can take the 19.745. And then we're adding, I mean, we're subtracting our foresight of 2.040. We get the answer of 17.705. Okay. So just to recap, okay, we just erase this. Just to recap. So in order for us to calculate a collimation height, the first collimation height for your first setup. We would take our final right, which is this one over here. We're adding our backside over here, and then we get this on top. Then we get this one here. We we'll make a star there. Let me get that one. Then to calculate, okay, yeah, that's our first collimation line. So now we need to calculate our reduced lines. We have to minus for collimation method, we have to minus this one and minus this one to get our reduced height. So then we will say the collimation height of 19.125 minus 2.194, we get 16.931. Then we go to 19.125 to minus your second intermediate side, which is 2.446, we get 16.679. Then we go back to our collimation height of 19.125 minus our foresight of 1.731 to get our answer of 17.394. The first setup is done. Okay. Now to do your second setup. Okay, your second setup. All you have to do for your second setup, you have to take this answer over here plus your backside, and you will get your second collimation height for your second setup, okay? Then you will get 19.446. When we take the 19.446, we subtract your intermediate side, we get 17.139. Then we go back to our 19.446, we minus our four side. Then we get the answer of 16.959. And our second setup is completed. Now we need to complete a third setup of the leveling run. 
So let me take the 16.959, we add the backside of 2.786, we get our answer of 19.745. And then we take our 19.745, we subtract our four side, which gives us 17.705, right? So, in, so now we need to do our correction. In order for us to calculate our, our correction, we say as your the final height minus your reduced height, okay? The final height is 17.709 minus 17.705. We get an answer of positive 0 0.004, okay? So this one over here would be positive 0 0.004, okay? And how many setups are we? We said there were three setups. So therefore we need to divide by three. Our answer that we get is 0 0.001, and that is our first setup. So therefore, 0 0.001, and we need to put the 0 0.01 for our first setup that needs to stop by the last, by the foresight number, which is this one over here, for the first setup, 0 0.01 plus 0 0.001. Okay, now we say um, for our second setup 0 0.004, divide three, multiply two for our second setup. We get the answer of 0 0.003, and it's also positive. You put on your calculator, it says positive. So we're starting here with 0 0.003, the second, Setup ends by 2487. So then they for also 0 0.003. And that is your corrections. Okay. And it's all positive. Okay. So obviously we just have to say the 16.931. We add this correction, then we get um sorry. It is either is this. Maybe I can just type it in quickly. <clears throat> Sorry. So it's 16 16.932, 16.680, 17.395, 17.142, 17.143, 0.142 and then 16.962. Okay. Let me just do this again. So that is your answers that you will get to your final height. But before I close or finish off the session, um, I did in the first in the first example, I did. Um, just to check if your, your reduced heights are the same. Um, and to check, just to check if you're on the right track, what you can do is the following. You need to add up your intermediate sites. You need to add up your four sites. And you need to add up your, sorry. You need to add up your reduced heights, okay? So if you add up your intermediate sites, you'll get the answer. So I will just do this, intermediate site. you get the answer of 6.4, sorry. 6947 for your four sites, if you add it all up, you get 6.258. And then for your reduced heights, which is this column over here, if you add it up, you get an answer of 102. 
0.80. Okay. And the total answer that you will get there would be 106.012. Okay. So remember, you're adding up your intermediate side column, you're adding up your four side column, and you're adding up your reduced side column. This will be your answer. So to check if, if, you're, if you're on the right track, the next thing that you have to do, you have to take your first, your first collimation height of 19.125 from 1 to 5. We multiply. We must look carefully. Okay, our first setup, we have, we, we, we don't count our, our, our backside in. We never count our backside when we're doing this, just the checks. When we're doing the checks, we don't count your backside in. So for your first setup, which we said it must run like this, right? So it's one, two, three. So we see three, okay? For your second collimation, right? It is 19.446 multiply. It runs like this. And like I said before, we don't count in our back side. So it's one, two. A last collimation height of 19.745 multiply. It runs like this. And like I said before, we don't count our back side in. It's only one. There's no intermediate side for our last setup. Okay? It's only a four side. So it's one. Okay. So if you multiply that, you will get the answer of 57.375. The second one will be 58.892. And the third one would be obviously 19.745. And if you add all of those up, you should get an answer of 116. So this is basically your checks, okay? Very important, do it in the exam. Um, it, it will definitely count for marks, so please do it in the exams if you can. Um, so this is your collimation line. If you have, like I said before, if you have any questions how to do the collimation method, you are more than welcome to message me um, in the group and we can take it from there. Thank you so much for watching the video.